Welcome to English Coaching Projects Weekly English Practice. This week's Weekly English Practice is about rekindling hobbies during lockdown. Shane Gillen, this guy from Dublin, has started drawing again. Obviously, he has more time at home, so he's picked up his pencil and started drawing some really impressive portraits of famous Irish people. And of course, they've gone viral, so it's been quite successful for him. My name is Shane Gillen. I have used my time in isolation to get back into art. As a kid, I was always drawing, uh, all the time entering competition. I've always loved it, and then just life happened, and uh, just work kind of happened, and I haven't really gotten a chance to get back into it um, until the pandemic. My own story hasn't been as successful or as impressive, but I did draw this guy to come and help me uh, tell a joke for you guys today. Ooh, I love nothing better than a quick joke. Sorry, Rob, I, I don't know which is worse, the, the impression or the drawing, I, I don't know. But before we tell you the joke, um, there's one thing I have to tell you. So, and one thing you must consider. Well, the difference between when you speak Spanish, so for example, the word buffet, um, in English we would pronounce it buffet, or the French as well, they, they wouldn't pronounce the T at the end. As this week's weekly English practice is about art, here's a quick joke about art. Are you ready to tell the story, Rob? Yes, of course. And I'm going to do it in a French accent. So, here's the joke. Renoir, why did you become an impressionist? I did it for the money. Renoir, why did you become an impressionist? I did it for the money. Get it? So, we'd love to hear from you if you have uh, rekindled uh, an old hobby. Um, or, of course, even if you have picked up a new hobby, uh, please let us know. Um, of course, you have uh, questions that you can answer. Please send them to us via email. Or don't be afraid to record yourself and send them to us by uh, via WhatsApp, WhatsApp voice. And um, of course, apologies again to, to Rob for that terrible impression. Bye bye. You know, when all this confinement and lockdown stuff is over, I really want to go out for a barbecue. Ah, oh, that would be fantastic. And, oh, and a haircut. So, uh, let's talk about getting your hair cut. Men maybe go to the barbers, women and men go to hairdressers, the hair salon, the beauty salon... Um, maybe there's going to be a lot of people going to these places after the lockdown finishes. So there might be a queue of people. There might be people waiting in line in a queue. So here's the quick joke. What do you call a long line of men waiting to get their hair cut? A barbecue. <laughs> a barbecue. Hey, stay safe. Have a good time. Bye. Bye.